Thank you, Honorable Chairperson. Chair, South Africa currently finds itself in an unprecedented economic crisis due to the ANC government's mismanagement, abuses, Order, members. corruption, and skewed priorities. The Honorable Masangwani speaks about transformation of the economy and that the ANC transformed the economy in the last 30 years. How does that transformed economy look? There is more people annually in the last decade that are disgruntled and do not even seek jobs anymore. We have limited job opportunities. We have a small tax base. We have a 0.2% economic growth. That is how the transformed economy looks. More than 14 million South Africans are in severe poverty because of them being below the food poverty line. Is that an success? It is not. We need a plan. We need a plan to rebuild the economy. But the ANC does not have a plan. Your plans have failed. Your policies have failed. But this fiscal framework, once again, is based on the failures a repetition of what has been proven not to work. We don't have an efficient and sustainable economic growth rate in South Africa. And before we get that, we won't have prosperity. We can't restore the fiscal dilemma which we are currently in. We need to appoint the best person to do the job regardless of his cart-carrying cadership. We need to appoint people who can restore our infrastructure and our service delivery. We need to eradicate corruption by having the political will to do so, which the ANC lacks. We need to do away with needless regulations that are currently the barrier to growth and to the private sector expanding and creating job opportunities. We need to have policy certainty, which we currently do not have. We need labor legislation and regulations that encourage and facilitate job creation. We need real structural reforms that facilitate the fourth industrial revolution, which the ANC can only talk <clears throat> about, but do not actually implement and actually are part of. We need quality education and skills development rather than only talking about it. A bad government chairperson cannot only be described as bad. It should rather be described as the enemy. You are the enemy. The enemy of the people, the enemy of the country. Honorable Vessels, please take your seat. Why are you rising, Honorable Member? Unworld May, can you ask your name? Yes, I will. Please. As you say, you need quality education. Do you think the education we are the government of the ANC's offering now is less than bundle education that was offered during apartheid? Are you referring to that? Thank you. You may respond. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chairperson. What the ANC government should talk about is the fact that 30 years later, a child can still only go to school in Afrikaans or English. Are you better? than the previous government. No, you're not. You had 30 years of opportunity to develop all official languages, but you have not. Because you spend money only on yourself. Order. Because you spend money on luxuries of your ministers whilst the people are suffering. Order. You don't eradicate the bucket system at schools. No, you don't. You don't build new schools. You don't. You have failed the people. But luckily, on the 29th of May 2024, the people can start rebuilding and restoring this country by getting rid of this uncaring government. I thank you.